kids, and welcome to another installment in the Great X series. Yep, this is a series now. So, I've been thinking, why not do a The Great Windows Upgrade video on the business side of things? We already did a failed video on the consumer side of things. We went from Windows 1.0 to Windows XP, but I didn't get really any further than that. So why not try this again, this time with the NT and the business side in general. So I did this once before, um, the, this is attempt 2, there's a deleted attempt 1 that will probably never be shown publicly, um, yeah, short story, uh, the hard disk was too small, I only made a hard disk of like 16 gigabytes. I got to Windows Vista, however, Windows 7 whined about, um, oh no, your hard disk is too small. So, I created a new one that's 64. That should be plenty. And since I can't really upgrade from NT3.51 to NT4.0 in VirtualBox, because when I try to insert the second disk, it just guru meditates, or as I like to call it, crashes. We're gonna have to be starting from NT 4.0. Yes, I didn't want to have to do that, but it's necessary to keep this going. So, let's do this. This is the great Windows NT upgrade. Will this work? Probably not. But, we're gonna try anyway. So, we're gonna try and get to Windows 7. That is our main goal, but we can try and do uh, Windows 8 and later. So, let's begin, I guess. And also, in that first attempt, I counted some of the, like, 2000, um, NT 5.0 Beta 2 and... And Windows 2000 Beta 3, but Windows 2000 whined that <laughs> it couldn't upgrade from uh, the pre-release to the perf to the final build for whatever reason. So uh, yeah, I guess that's out the window. Anyways, let's begin with this. So let's do a new one. So we're going to name it the Great Windows NT Upgrade or TGWNU, call it Windows NT4, okay, okay, 120 megabytes, that's a little on the low side, so let's uh, try to do this, uh, uh, use existing hard drive, choose that, there we go, and... Let's adjust a few settings. PS2 mouse, that should do. And pump this up to 120 megabytes of memory. Enable 3D acceleration. Storage. And we're going to add a floppy drive. Boot disk, disk one. I swear this worked on here before, so. NT4.0 to ISO. Give it a moment. It's reading. Okay, there we go. Okay. Nothing here that really needs to be changed, so I guess we're good. Set up disk 2, yep. This is the stuff of my nightmares. Okay, now it works. Yeah, so whenever I try to insert disk 2 when NT3.51 is already on the, on the hard drive, it just crashes, so that's nice. 
I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's a little hard to see, so let's scale it up. Alright. I'm gonna do enter, and now it wants disk 3. Agreement, or sorry, read it. You just have to do this. I do agree. I'm like, wow, it really wants you to read it. And there's this unpartitioned space thing. This might be a problem later on. But yeah, it just says 8033 megabytes uh, NTFS. TFS because it's too large. Why is it too large? Okay, fat. No. Huh, you know what it's time for? It's time for a Cronus. <laughs> Welcome to a Cronus. This is what I like to use for uh, this. Now we're gonna run Disk Administrator. Disk Administrator is what I always use for this. Here we are. So, this 51 gigabytes is all free stuff. This is FAT16, so we're going to have to. Okay. Delete. Delete everything. 63.9 gigabytes, we're gonna create a new partition. NTFS. Size, we're gonna, we're gonna make this only like, probably four gigabytes, four G. 4.0 G. There it goes. Now, this is now our um, thing, and we still have this free. I think I might run this again if I need it, so let's just commit all the changes, and okay. Um, okay. This is what you like to see, so okay, don't do that. Format using NTFS. F. Are you serious? And now we have to do all this. Delete it. Yes. Okay. Delete this. Yes. Okay, now everything's been merged into this. We can create a new one. Make it NTFS. Size. Okay, we're gonna try two gigs. There we go. And this other 61.9 gigs, you guys can wait. Commit all of them. Yes. There we go. Yep. And now here's the part that gave us trouble. 2055, that is what we want. Format using NTFS. F. See, there we go. And we're going to leave it as win in it. And uh, we're gonna continue. Look how quick it copies files. And there we go. Restart it. Here's Windows NT 
set up and now it's asking for our disk. Now it wants our disk. Setup options, typical. And here's where we put in our info. And we could just do this. And now we need a computer name. Uh, the great Windows NT upgrade. No, no emergency repair disk, please. And do that. Okay. Networking. Do not con connect. Now just needs to do a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Windows NT 4.00 has been installed successfully. Were they making a 4.01 at some point? Who knows? And here's our desktop. Here we are, Windows NT 4.0. Now this is Windows NT 4.0 with no drivers. We don't have sound. And we're only running at 16 colors, as you can tell by the background. But it's still in his NT 4.0. So let's install some sound drivers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sound? Maybe we just not play the startup sound. Okay, that... That's not good. That is definitely not good. Okay, but I do have one idea. Okay, we don't need I don't want to register my sound cluster. Okay. <sighs> so let's just try and start in guest editions. This will give us everything we need. Oh yeah, look how terrible that looks. And it does run on NT4, so... Uh, no, I don't want to continue. So I guess we have to upgrade to Service Pack 6. Yay me! Still no sound, but let's just insert it. And uh, yeah, okay. True color. Yeah, we want a 152 by 864. Test. Okay. Okay, that's concerning. Thirty-two bit system settings. Okay, I'm trying. Your display monitor. Please try a different settings for your display. God damn it. Okay, try this. Okay, try, try this. Display settings. Test it. God, I hate this. Wow, 16 colors. How great. Okay, wait, I do have one idea though. I'm sorry, but this is necessary. I don't want to step through this. Okay, display. VBOX SVGA.
that's what we want. Full VGA driver, okay. Change display. Oracle Corporation, yes, I do want that. Yes. Uh, yes. Um. Okay, never mind. Don't do that. Let's just uh, forget. Oh, okay, let's just uh, forget about this. Okay, we need to zoom in that much. There we go. And so let's just uninstall it. to Windows 2000, see if that helps. Yes, I would like to upgrade. Upgrade to Windows 2000, recommended. Okay, hold on, hold on. We need to do some stuff. Finish. First of all, let's set a wallpaper. Um, let's go to settings and control panel. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, mic here. C, Win NT. I can uh, find it. Here's one NT256. It's just really bad. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> and let's just copy of one NT256. Just call it win. Win NT up G. Now let's go to control panel, display, NT up G. And I just copied it just to preserve it. There we go. And with that, let's get our log back up in here. Nothing in here. Well, let's make something. Look at that slow drawing. This is why he's always in Sol Graphic Adapters, kids. Alright, so let's do a little log here. 7, 8, 20, at 12, 27 p.m. Uh, installed Windows NT 4.0. We're going to save that as floppy. Up. So it does TGWNU log. There we go. Now, let's run this. Yes, I would like to upgrade to Windows 2000. Upgrade to Windows 2000. I accept this agreement. And you need... The product key. How fun. Alright, I 
enter the product key and now we're restarting. <laughs> Don't show the screen, please. Hey, we got sound. That's good. All right, so let's, um, yeah, and I still kept our Windows NT 4.0 wallpaper. Let's just, Oh look, we still have it in there. That's convenient. At 12.39 p.m. Stolen Windows 2000. Save it. There we go, and there. Okay, so let's just um, put this driver disk in here. <laughs> icons and yeah look at this it's now in a true color just eject that And there we go. So with that, let's install Windows XP Professional x86. Install Windows XP. Upgrade recommended. Uh huh. Yeah, you can't skip it. That is lame. Okay. Um, skip this step and just continue installing Windows, okay. And restart computer, let's escape. Okay, um, shut down. Okay, I should have just waited. Windows XP. 
Windows XP Professional setup. This is not ideal. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's just go to. Let's just. This looks like Windows Server 2003, but it's not. Wow. Just wow. Okay, 32 bits. What I want and crank this up. Apply. Yes. Beams. I guess it's just um the way we're gonna have to live. <laughs> so yeah, here's Windows XP Professional. We have successfully upgraded. And we still have our Windows NT 4.0 wallpaper. That's that's cute. Um, yeah. And properties. Free space. One gigabyte. That's probably not going to be enough for Windows Vista, but that doesn't matter. What matters is this. 7, 8, 2024 20, at 1.03 p.m. Installed Windows XP Professional. Save it. Okay. I'm not expecting us to be able to upgrade to Windows Vista, but it's whatever. Here we are, Windows Vista. Of course, the Windows version that everyone hates that really didn't deserve it. Okay, we're not gonna have to work on a key now. Why does the text look weird, by the way? It just doesn't look right. I keep clicking yes, thinking, oh, do you wanna skip making a product key? They really want you to enter <laughs> your product key, so we're gonna do Windows Biz Vista Business. Where it's been disabled, of course. And try upgrading again. Okay, why can't you tell me this in gigabytes? I, that's the thing I take 1080, 1088.4. Megabytes. Okay, so. Okay, let me just try and. Looking this up. Okay, I just had to put a decimal in between 10 and 884, but. Uh, yeah, we need 10 gigabytes of space. 10. That's more than our hard drive, so. I don't know, man. Not feeling good about this. Not feeling good. Okay, we might have to do a clean install. I really don't want to have to do this. Thank you. Thanks, NT4, for putting me in this mess. It goes from it's too large to it's too small. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... That can work. Okay. 
Let's just try and back up some stuff, though. And for starters... Oh, upgrade, what is this? What is XP upgrade compatibility? Huh. And of course we have the NT upgrade thing. We're gonna try and, and um, I'm actually gonna try and preserve that. There. Anyone only shortcuts? I don't care about them. We could, they could just go away. So, yeah, I'm afraid. Uh, okay. Well, um, let's just try at least launching it from here. Auto run's gonna come in, still now. Yeah, I didn't wanna have to do this, but um, clean install. So let's just see what the minimum amount of clean install possible for this is. Uh, yeah, we don't want to enter our product here right now. I keep thinking yeses. I think I keep thinking the question is, do you want to enter a product key now, or do you do you want to skip entering a product key? What is Vista Business? What is Vista Business? That's what we want. And custom. Okay, free space. Okay, total size two gigabytes. Okay. And we're back to Acronis. Okay. Yeah, all right. And we're going to run Disk Administrator, please. Here we are. Simple, simple. Fun, fun, fun. All right. I guess it's just time to delete this partition. <sighs> I don't feel really that good about this. Hmm. I do have one idea though. We could try and dual boot Windows XP and Vista. So technically we didn't lose everything. But I don't know. Still not feeling good about that. You know what? Let's just delete it. Delete it. Delete it. What could go wrong? Yes. And let's just create a new one. Make it NTFS. Make it all, commit the changes, yeah. So yeah, I really didn't want to have to do this, but there's no choice. NT4 was being a little wussy. And Vista wanted too much. It's the circle of life. Let's just try and skip this until the alarm is missing. Yeah, I bet I expected that. Boot from the DVD. Almost said CD. Windows Vista. Install now. Product key for activation. No, I don't want to enter the product key now.
business. I've selected. Yep. Custom. And there we go. 64 gigabytes. And we're off like that. <laughs>
Nothing in here. And I don't know why there's no sound. Come on, I want audio. Let's just close the gadget. Pop this up here. Change this. Add a CPU meter. Maybe add stocks meter. And a picture puzzle. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I can play this. But, yeah, we don't have sound. That's a huge problem. Google actually still works on a lot of stuff, so. just driverless Windows Vista. Okay. Software. My pal. Surf the net with my pal. Yay. Just install my pal and let's just launch it. See if we can go to the net. Okay, that's not the that's not the thing I was Okay, that's the the browser's not the problem. This uh, turns out to just be a driverless Windows Vista. That is so bullshit. Device manager. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Computer. For hardware. Look at the ad hardware wizard. Uh, list. Video game controllers. Okay, we have creative, creative technology, support game port for creative.
Okay. We might have to just give up on sound. I don't know. Why does it... I don't know why it just doesn't like my drivers. We could change the clock. Let's just clean, change it to this. <laughs> yeah. So... I'm stumped here. Okay, um... I'm just search for this. Uh, tried everything, still no sound, and I can't even connect to the internet. I see. Uh, Installed my pal. Wait, I think I already showed this. I'm I. My brain's falling apart, but yeah, this is not good. Very not good. But we're gonna have to live with it. Who knows? Maybe installing Windows 7 will fix the audio. Who knows? So, it doesn't even have a network driver, so that means it's just a driverless Windows Vista. Great. Great. Well, let's get our log back in there. Why do I keep going to control panel? I need to go here. Here's our, um, so that is our desktop background. Okay, not all the way. Okay, whoa, not all the way. Change desktop background and center it. Uh, whoa, did I, uh, tile? I hope it just still wants to just be like that. Okay, fine. So be it. You be like that. And here's our log. 7, 8, 2024 at way past 103. Uh, let's just put it in there anyway. 1.55 p.m. Installed Windows Vista Business. Save it. And now time for the moment of dread. This is as far as I went with um, the last attempt, and now it's time to do it again. Okay. ISOs, Windows, here, Windows 7 Professional, that's what I want. Okay. Setup, please. Continue. It feels so weird without the sound. Install now, for the love of God. <laughs> Go online to get the latest updates for installation. Uh, no thanks. Um, like that. Okay, there we go. Upgrade. That's that's what I wanted.
to that time zone. And here we are. Okay, I noticed something. It's a little out of order. Oh. Okay, these can just... They're a little different one of seven. Okay. But we still got the same gadgets. We still got the same skin for our clock. We can just make this larger. Put it here. And yeah, this is Windows 7 now. But we still got no sound, right? Could have, you know. I... So all the hope of Windows 7 fixing that problem went out the window, I guess. Still got the same device manager. No sound, audio, or game controllers. So, with that, we have completed, or partially completed, our main goal. I wanted to just upgrade, you know, just try to keep all of our settings throughout, but I guess that isn't happening. <laughs> yeah, we have to clean stall at Vista, because... Oh yeah, so we only have to do one clean install to do just Windows 7. But, of course, we're going to try and go further. Alright, I got a Windows 8.0 ISO, so let's begin with that. And by 8.0, I mean 8.0 Pro. Okay. Windows 8. Product key. We can't continue just like with XP, so. Oh boy, we gotta, gotta type in the product key. Read this so you know what you're agreeing to. I know what I'm agreeing to. It's facts. Okay. Keep window settings, personal files, and apps. That sounds right. Ready to install? Ready to install. <laughs> This is not good. Okay, um, research it from an answers.microsoft.com post, and uh, the replier said, Oh, you may need to um, enable PAENX. Which, um, sure, we'll do that. Do that. And start it.
Windows setup, or is it Windows 8? Windows 8. do that. Okay, cancel Windows installation. Yes, for the love of God. Windows 7. Let's try this again. Okay, let's just put this in again. Let's set up. Yes. Okay, now it's quicker this time. Now what's our product key? And yes, I do know what I'm agreeing to. I'm agreeing to fax, um, keep window settings, personal files and apps. So install Windows 8 Pro, keep Windows settings, personal files, and apps, and just check the settings real quick. Enable P A E N X, don't know what that means, but the, the reply told me to do that. Installing Windows 8. <laughs> Set the color to uh, red. Hmm. Let's try to do this. Um Red color, let's see if it keeps that. Express things, let's get going fast. And now we're at the famous high screen. While we're getting things ready, check out the new way to use Windows. Here is Windows 8. Okay, so um, we kept all of our icons here. They arranged it a bit, but yeah, it didn't keep our wallpaper. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah.
guess there is none left. And so that is our desktop background. Yep, that works. And we forgot to log seven, which is kind of a bummer. Okay, seven, eight, 2024. At, I'm gonna say 2 09 p.m. Install Windows 7 7 Professional. And also 7 8 2024. At five thirteen PM Windows eight point pro. I refer to Windows eight as eight point to kind of play off of eight point one. Okay, let's just uh, arrange them again. Anyways, yeah, here's Windows 8. And my mouse is not moving. Wonderful. And still kept our background. I think I want to go back here. Control. Um, adjust the screen resolution 1152 by 864. Yes, keep those changes. Looking nice. And so let's just customize our windows a little. Gonna move these over here, move travel there. Why does it do that? And can't forget about these. These are just little Windows 7 things. So here we are, Windows NT, Windows 8.0. That's right, it is time to upgrade to Windows 8.1 Pro. Run setup, yes, also still no sound. License terms. Accept window settings, making sure you're ready to install. Install Windows 8.1 Pro, keep sending personal files and apps. There. <laughs> See, it kept our red. Hi. Let's start. Okay, kept none of our 
personalization setting intact, but it kept our red at the start, and it... Yep, our wallpaper's gone again. That's not good. It's asking for the floppy. How fun. And set this as the background. There. Still no sound, and yeah. Change our log. Okay, didn't put an exclamation mark there. That's bad grammar. 7, 8, 20, 24 at 5, 34 p.m. Installed. Windows 8.1 Pro. Wham. And for good measure this that this is Pro, let's run Winver. Yep, Windows 8.1 Pro. This is Windows 8 at the top though. So yeah, and it didn't keep that's that's kind of sad. But I did keep these, like these kind of things. That's pretty nice. Also, we got these. They won't matter, but let's just put them there. There we go. Nice and organized. Oh, Skype. No. Close. <laughs> Please. Anyways. Yeah. Windows 8.1 has been installed. And now there's only one... Um, one Windows version left... And then, we're done. Alright, I created the ISO with the media creation tool on it. Let's pop it in. Well, not pop it in, but you know what I mean. It froze up. How wonderful. Yeah, it can't do anything, it just froze. Wow, great stuff. Get on with that. We still got our red log on background, but we don't have our red start screen. That's Bit disappointing. Oh, oh, never mind. We do. Okay. Okay. Um. In here, I don't know why it froze up when it when it tried to. Okay. Yes. This is the final one. Final upgrade, and then we're done. You we could do this. Let's just put it on the desktop for everyone to see. I click yes. When his logo pops up, is it still running? Let's see. No running apps. That's a bit disappointing. So let's not do media creation tool. All right, got my ISO, and now it's time to put it in. Oh, 
run setup. Yes. Install Windows 10. I do want to help make the installation of Windows better. I need a uh, product key for this, so. Managed to make it through product key hell, and I entered a product key from a pretty sketchy looking site, and somehow it worked, so. Yeah. Ready to install. Install Windows 10 Pro. Keep personal files and apps. Install. There we go. Installing Windows 10. <laughs> the last time so Let's see if it does it again <laughs> again it looked like it was going so well and uh, now it's just stuck at 81 well we're in for another reboot <laughs> I think we're just going to have to accept that 8.1 is the furthest we can go. So if we want to run Windows 10 here, we either, we, we have to do a clean install, okay? Alright, so we're finally done.
And real quick, did we put 8.1 in the log? Yes, we did. So, this is our final log. And a summary of the whole thing, well, we did our main goal, so I would consider this a success, although we kind of have to cheat a little. We had to do a clean install with Windows Vista, and we had to just transfer everything over. So yeah, that's kind of sad. But we still managed to get to Windows 8.1, and I consider that an accomplishment. I might try again, um, I might try the great Windows upgrade again, and only, and, uh, include a bigger hard drive, 64 gigabytes, but who knows. Anyways, that's it for this video, uh, and see ya. Bye. Thank you.